part two dog fight. So one of the things that he'll regularly do here in this position is he's gonna limp arm out and look to take my back, right? So as he does this, he's gonna limp arm out. I'm gonna hook this bicep right here, pass it to the other arm, and take my own top control here. So from here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my weight on him by moving, shifting it over here. I'm gonna spiral ride. I'm gonna shift my weight back and then forward, and I'm gonna knock him to his elbows. Now what he may do, or will probably do here, realizing that he's stretched out, is kind of suck himself back in. And when he does this, now he's got his legs pinched, and so he's sitting back on this leg. I'm not gonna be able to shift over and get my other hook on the other side. But that's not really a problem here. I'm still gonna maintain this control until I'm ready to move. Now what I'm gonna do, same thing, I'm gonna grab his shoulder here, I'm gonna shift my weight over, and I'm just gonna scoot this one out. And we're gonna end up in this position we call the victor control here. Now, sometimes, depending on the way the scramble works out, I can finish a deeper here. Clearly, that's not gonna happen in this position, so what I'm gonna do instead is I'm gonna sit up and move over into my dry sail, walk my hand down, look to get my penny lock, and finish my knee bar. And then get back on top. The driver's seat position that we introduced you today is called the victor control. It's kind of based off of the position you would end up in after a victor roll or a flying knee bar. But we use it actually in a lot of different ways and sometimes straight out of a sit position. So today I'm going to show you how I get there on the dry sail. One of the reasons why I use it is it helps me to control bigger bodies a lot better, believe it or not. And then vice versa, if I'm rolling with somebody significantly smaller than me and I don't really want to sit all my weight on them, I can use this to control their body as well without putting all of my weight on them. So here I am, I'm moving into the dry cell position and he starts to sit up. If he doesn't go belly down like we were showing in the earlier technique, what I can do here is I can just kind of grab his lap, nice and deep, coming almost all the way through onto his pec. And I'm just going to sit back and I'm going to keep this hook in. And you can see how like this arm is elbow deep now. Sometimes I can finish the knee bar here. Sometimes I can finish with the Vinny lock here. And sometimes I have to come back up here and finish with the Vinny lock and get my knee bar. So that's a little bit out of the Victor control. Really, really great position. I'm sure we're gonna be showing it more and more.